electrical compartment can be found behind this magnetic panel. You no longer have to take off the screws to take the panel off. All you need to do is grab it and pull. With the panel off, you have easy access to the electrical compartment. This compartment houses all our electrical junctions or fuses or relays in one location, so you don't have to be bouncing back and forth around the machine to try and fix or troubleshoot something. Don't confuse this compartment with the engine controller, which is mounted behind it. That controller, we recommend if you're having a problem engine-related, bring it back to a Hydromaster dealer. They have um, diagnostic computers. They can plug into this ECU and pull up any codes or anything. It'll save you a lot of headache and time bringing it back to the dealer for that ECU. For your other problems, which are more truck mount related, the fuses and relays can be found inside here. First thing you'll notice, we have some status lights mounted on top of the fuse box, on the electrical compartment, sorry. Those status lights tell you different things. They're labeled, so if you have any questions about what the lights are doing, feel free to contact our service department. To get inside the box, remove the two wing nuts. With the wing nuts removed, you can remove the cover plate. First thing you'll notice is a quick reference diagram, which is effectively a wiring diagram for the electrical compartment. It shows you what everything is connected to and how the, the wires are connected into the compartment. The Junction box, the relays and fuses can all be easily accessed. There's also a controller. There's a main relay. You'll note, sorry, a main fuse. You'll notice all the fuses are automotive blade style fuses. We recommend you carry a pack ranging from 10 amp to 30 amp fuses. If you have a problem with a fuse, we recommend you find the root cause of the problem before just replacing the fuse. If you just replace the fuse without finding the root cause, it may blow another fuse or it could continue to perpetuate a problem that you're having with the machine. So to determine if the fuse is broken, we recommend you actually use a multimeter to check. By visually checking, you can't detect airline cracks that would prevent electricity flow. So using a multimeter will be able to tell you whether or not electricity can flow across the fuse. Once you've completed whatever you are working on inside the electrical compartment, be sure to return the quick reference diagram to the fuse box before putting it back in place. Um, this will be needed during troubleshooting, so please return it to its location. Once you've done that, you can put the cover back in place. Note the orientation with the labels pointing at the status lights. Put your wing nuts back on. Make sure you tighten the wing, nut, the wing nuts. There's a gasket behind this plate that helps seal up moisture. We have some louvers in the plate that are specifically made to vent air out of it by air flowing past it. So this gasket needs to be sealed for that airflow to function properly. That helps cool the components on the inside, the relays and the fuses. So be sure to tighten your wing nuts back on to compress that gasket to seal the outer edges of the cover. Once you're done, put your magnetic panel back in place, and you're complete.